do you guys really think my Gina needed all that? Because I don't know why this particular person is calling out my Gina's sister and my Gina's girlfriend for ghosting her and not paying her. Well, welcome to Lovely On on YouTube and this is Spicy Updates with Lovely On. So you guys, it's been trending that this particular, um, what I call her a PR manager or this particular person going by the name Zoli has called that my junior sister, my junior girlfriend, Caesar, for um, blocking her. This she said they did not pay her her money. In fact, it was a long, long post that this particular person put out there and some pressing some supporters and fans of mac Jr. had a lot of things to say some allegedly saying is is calm some are saying she was never his manager that even when she was confronted sometimes she denied so how come she's bringing up this some other persons are saying well probably mac Jr. hasn't gotten his two mail and others also has other things to say. Some persons are saying, oh, my junior loves money. Oh, they saw him in the house, that he, he's this, he's that. Well, I think I'll have to start by reading out the long post that this person put out, okay? And after that, we have to go and see what some netizens said. Because, you know, sometimes when we put all these things there, it will be like it's a blogger that is talking, not knowing that this blogger sources for information and is bringing it to you guys but some persons take it personally as if the blogger is the one saying those things well anyway i don't really know but this is what somebody has put out before then make sure to like the video and be subscribed to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed and you're a fan of my junior well i don't really know the truth but from everything i'm going to read out you have to share your thoughts in the comments while we ride so somebody is reporting that said Magina social media manager Zoli Nyandu releases a statement revealing that she is still yet to be paid for work done whilst Magina was still in the Big Brother house. So this is the media statement. Dear valued supporters, it is with a heavy heart that I address you today. As many of you know, I had the privilege of managing Magina's social media accounts during his time in the Big Brother house. What um what started as a gesture of support for his family who we are struggling to find affordable social media management has turned into a deeply disappointing situation. My junior sister approached me to handle his social media account, knowing that other social media handlers charge exorbitant fees. I agreed to manage his account with the understanding that I would be compensated once he was out of the house. Tessa, whom I had previously worked with on one of the housemates' brand, joined me to handle Instagram while I managed other platforms. Throughout Magina's journey, we worked tirelessly to ensure his brand's success. Despite the usual challenges that come with any workplace, we maintained a professional relationship with Magina's family and even developed a friendship with his girlfriend. While Magina was in the house, his sister made sure we had necessary resources, including data and occasional funds for snacks. It was always clear that our payment would come once Magina won, and both his sister and girlfriend were aware of this arrangement. After Magina's victory, I was appointed as his peer for a few days. However, things took a turn. For the worst, when I was suddenly blocked on WhatsApp without any explanation, despite reaching out, I received no response. What's really heartbreaking is that even though I consider my genius girlfriend a friend, she has remained silent during this ordeal. Both Tessa and I were assured that we would be compensated, but now we are met with radio silence. The passwords to the social media accounts were changed without our knowledge, and my genius sister has distanced herself from the situation entirely. Tessa and I drafted our invoices and sent them via my genius email two weeks ago yet we have received no response what hurts the most is that despite the efforts his responses have been rude and he has shown no concern from the promises made to us i released the statement with a heavy heart not to cause drama but to shed light on a situation that has left me feeling betrayed and disrespected i would have appreciated a simple conversation or at least a timeline for payment thank you for your understanding and continued support X and uh, like many persons have lots of things to say this one said let's not forget that zoli yandu is a scam my junior owes you nothing he did not enter into any contract with you okay and we are aware of your 
tendency since Kwabe twins these like lots of persons have been saying so many things this person said the way this guy is handling the re re outside reality it is clear that he should have played lotto and not go for the reality show <laughs> this person is not talking about mac jr and another person said so mac jr was using people all along Magina was still in the house when this arrangement was made. Why is he being blamed? I understand everything was done to help, but I hope the deal wasn't outrageous because sometimes people do too much. Like, guys, a lot of persons have so many things to say. It does not end there. I think I'm going to still be bringing to you guys what so many people say. This one said, we saw him in the house. How bitter he is. I am not surprised. These are just people's responses. Then this person said, scammer. He's calling this person scammer. This other person said, I now get why people who win Lotto Powerball want to be anonymous. Like, people are using it to, like, say so many things, make jest of the whole situation, point hand, okay? So I'm saying, um, McGinnell, they saw him in the house. That's the way he is. While other sources, other opinions feel that this particular Zoli lady or Zoli guy is lying. Okay. This one said, even if he didn't receive the money yet, at least he should communicate with the relevant people. You can't, um, which supporters is she referring to? Because I'm certain it is not my first. MJ didn't hire her. She must ask his sister and T. They have a deal. She said she was not the handler. She was just organizing Durban. Welcoming Jiki Jiki. She's the handler. She's just pained. He doesn't want anything to do with social media and influencing Ganyena. Mm, guys, this one is really a big one. Like, like I said, we all know that Maginio doesn't want the celebrity stuff. So probably he has come out of the house and said, who asked you to get a manager or what, 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 what. And there was a post that surfaced earlier where this particular person denied being my genius manager so people are like okay at some point you said you were not his manager you were just working for the double and whatever so why are you coming on now so this particular person zoli released another one you know saying she was going to report to multi choice dstv la 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 so i'm going to read out what she said again i apologize for the pressure I need to make payments to the team that assisted me and at the moment they think I may be hiding certain information from them. So it would help to have you honoring my invoice in writing and commitment to when the payments will be made just so that I add my team uh, at ease. Like, so this person says, someone who forced my genius at me to give her logins to his account. When they said no, she promised she won't charge. When my junior won, she blocked all admins so that she can demand more money from my junior. This one said, God will pun. Hmm. Zoli is crazy and whoever works with her, shame to them. My junior would never create an email of his name spelled incorrectly. She's even creating stupid narratives. What is she going to report to Joyce TV? Well, well, and this person said, this horn mustn't confuse the masses. I was on the front line pushing my junior from Durban. I was in conversations with the handler on a daily basis, talking blah, 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 blah. She's a big opportunist, this one. And we were warned. So some persons are feeling like she just wants to like use this opportunity or like she forced herself on mag and his team and the other person are saying which team is she talking about is it in mark force because as far as they are concerned they don't know anything about her but guys i think the best thing is for mag genius management to just come out talk and say because this is like calling a uh, mag genius girlfriend out and calling mag genius like she mentioned that mag genius has been rude to her mag genius girlfriend blocked her and all that the magenial sister has been this, this so literally like they don't want anything doing with her anymore and she's concerned because she's looking for her money now the question is who employed you who asked you and they're saying she was the one that fucked herself so i think people that know her think she's been an opportunist but you know this is just one-sided she has given her own side of the story
So we have to wait. Well, I trust my genius team to also release a press press statement because, you know, sometimes silence is golden, but in this case, silence is not golden because this is like calling you out. So you have to come either say this or that, and this is something that has to do with money so that it won't tarnish one's image. And people are already saying, oh, they saw him in the house. Is this, is that. He, they will like some persons, especially when they don't like you, they want to start creating unnecessary narratives about the whole stuff so i think the best thing is for them to come either debunk or say what they need to know guys please share your thoughts in the comments don't come for me i'm just a blogger don't just come for me i have to beg you make sure you like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys on the next one and i'll keep you updated bye